everyone. In this lesson, we will go over a workflow to create a showroom in Closet. There are a couple things we need to prepare so that we can make this happen easily. First, we must have our Clo assets in Closet, and the garments that we want in our virtual showroom must be in an assortment. It can be individual garments or multiple garments on a single project garment file, or it can be a complete head to toe look with an avatar. Next, I have some renders of the garments that I'm going to use that I created in Clo. I'll be using the same garments in different colorways and different types of displays to show you how you might create a more dynamic showroom. This first image, you can see that my sweatshirt is on a hanger. This was rendered with a transparent background. Next is a, an avatar that has a full head to toe look that is posed and I have also removed the background and the shadows on the ground in this one. And finally, I have something that looks more like a photograph. This option will allow you to work with blank walls or place images into frames. While you're in your assortment, note the option in the upper right hand corner that says create virtual showroom. If you click this, a new window will open. Name your showroom. Note that there is a default showroom. And now let's have a look. Simply click create. Starting in the top left, you will see the location of the showroom within your Closet group. Below that is the image being used for the space with the option to add new spaces. In the upper right, you can preview the showroom, save your progress, publish to live, and exit. At the bottom center, the plus icon allows you to add content. The hamburger menu shows you a list of your content and the gear icon in the lower right corner has your environment settings. We will review all these when we start to build. To navigate, simply click and drag in the window or use the scroll wheel to move in and out. This is the default Closet showroom. The image used is an HDR image. We can use this if we would like, but the garments in this showroom do not resemble those we created in Clo. Here is a new space. As you can see, the hangers, mannequins, frames, displays are all empty. Here is what it looks like in the image editing space. Now, remember my renders? Here I have taken these and placed them into the showroom. I made some adjustments like adding a shadow to the model and adjusting the size of the sweatshirt so it appears to hang on the hanger. So let's go back to close set and into our showroom. If I click add space, I can browse the HDR image I edited and upload it. Select and click OK. Select it and your display will change. Look around. Let's focus just on this corner. The plus icon at the bottom will allow us to add things to our showroom. Click any option and it will open the right side panel. We will concentrate on the 3D and the 2D content. For more information about other options, be sure to check the Closet Support Help website. 3D content shows us the garments in our assortment. Simply drag and drop to place them. You can then drag the spot icon in the showroom to the desired position. And note that you can change the icon itself as well as the color. The 2D content allows you to add images. This is good for prints on the fabrics, or in this case, the graphics that are on the sweatshirt. As you add items, you can preview how they will look in the showroom. Click preview, a window will open. Navigate around in your showroom and click the spot icons. Information that is shown in the pop-up comes from the style page of the original garment. You can always go back and update the style page. You must always click the save icon in the upper right hand corner before you leave the showroom or all your edits will be lost. Now back in the assortment, the option in the upper right simply says virtual showroom and we can either edit or delete it. If we go in and update the showroom by adding more garments or changing the spot icons, then always make sure that we save what we've added. Finally, we can publish our showroom. Once published, you can copy and share the showroom address. 